Trick or treat, use the flash. <laughs> feel the flash flow through you. I feel it. Yes, yes. I can feel it. <laughs> I'd like to thank Simon for the new intro music that I have for this uh, series. It's sort of a revamped version of Smeg Chris. I really, really love it. And I hope you like the new title sequence too. We'll see. Well, Torchwood finally came to an end. It was mostly great with lots of guest actors like Ernie Hudson from Ghostbusters, John Delancey from Star Trek. But it seems that 10 episodes was far too much. They could have easily made it into 5 or 6. There are also complaints of one of the episodes having far too much sex in it. What was that? <sighs> Gay sex. There was far too much scene. And it wasn't even that poignant to the story. You know, poignant. There was no point to it. But let's not dwell on that. Bad enough seeing it once. It was a satisfying end, although... One of the main characters was killed off. Again. Oh, and for the shock twist ending, I saw that coming a mile off. But it does leave it open for another series. But going on logic, the last series lasted 5 episodes, this series lasted 10. I just hope to God that they don't make the next series 20 episodes. I'm not sure I can put up with two full episodes of two men in a bedroom, you know, having hanky-panky. Now, if it was two women... It's now time for me to ramble on about the reboot of DC Comics. It's not their first time. The last time was a series called Crisis on Infinite Earths that came about during the mid-80s and lasted for 12 months. And you saw heroes such as The Flash and Supergirl killed off. After that, all the characters started from scratch. Well, most of them. I don't really want to get into that. I don't want to bore you too much. This new reboot was due to a five-part series called Flashpoint, where we see the Flash, yes, the dead one reborn, where he was up against Professor Zoom, his arch-nemesis, where they changed history somehow, and then we had Aquaman and Wonder Woman at war with each other, and Thomas Wayne was Batman instead of Bruce Wayne, and for some reason Superman was a, a little weakling, because when he landed in Metropolis, somebody found him and they locked him up, and that's where he's been ever since. Dwell. Bore. Move on. The outcome had history sort of returning to normal. Ish. We see new costumes on our heroes for starters. And in the first two books we've got Justice League where we see the heroes meeting each other for the first time. And also Action Comics where we see Superman, you know, just starting out. He can't fly yet, bullets bruise him and he's more arrogant than a drunk politician. But that aside, I do like this new take on things. For now. You see, comic books are written 18 months in advance, and my theory is that the DC Comics are hanging around waiting to see what the public reaction is, to see if this new reboot is actually a success or not, and if not, they'll revert back to the original history. To be honest, I think they will anyway, because Action Comics reached issue 904, and that wasn't even affected by the last reboot, and I don't think they want to lose that because it's the longest running comic book in history. But we'll see, and it is exciting. <laughs> to me anyway. One last thing. I went to see Jurassic Park at the cinema because it has returned for two weeks only and it is my absolute favourite film of all time. It does have its flaws but I love it nonetheless. Obviously I give the film a even after 18 years. And I'm so glad they didn't ruin it with 3D. And also Spielberg not doing an E.T. with it by replacing all the guns with walkie-talkies. Can you imagine them going around shooting at velociraptors with radios? Well, that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out. Hood. <coughs> 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 <coughs>